Minister Linda Hofstad Helland, dear sports friends, first of all, I would thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak to this audience. This conference is indeed very important for Norwegian international sports. For our organization, the Norwegian Olympic and Paralympic Committee and Confederation of Sports. This issue has our attention on daily base. That is our responsibility as a signatory to the WADA code. It is our responsibility to our 11,500 sports club and more than 2 million memberships. Do doping within sport is one of the challenge conditions to fair play. Match fix fixing and cooperation are other contact challenge. It is important that this is an international conference because this question must find the answer on the international level. At the risk of jumping to the conclusion, I believe that the solution is global approved between all stakeholders. Anti-doping Norway is a foundation established by the Norwegian and the Norwegian Olympic Committee and the Norwegian Ministry of Culture to perform certain tasks and safeguard independence into anti-doping work. At the end of the days, this is about protect, protecting the most important values that Norwegian and international sport are based on. Values that apply to grassroots sport and elite sport values that apply to the Olympic sport and Paralympic. The international anti-doping work has faced serious channels over the last few years. The question has been asked, is the organization set up to manage anti-doping issue good enough? The credibility of sport and its regulations have been challenged. The athletes' trust in the system has been compromised. It was good and constructive that all signatory embrace the establishment of the VADA International Standard for Code Compliance for VADA signatories in November 2017. It may not prevent new doping scandals, but it will secure that standard and means of san san sanction if signatories breaking the rule. In order to make sure that athletes from different countries and different sports are testing treated on equal terms during mayor event and championship, we support the recent form over the International Testing Agency, a testing body where sport and government have united in the effort to ensure a an uniform and strong testing program. I highly support such good cooperation between sport and the government authorities at the international level. We closely follow the audit process of the WADA code and we provide our input in close collaboration with our 54 national sports federation. We have made input about independent and transparent process and tribunal. Something that I recently sta sta started at the Congress of ANOC last autumn. And we have support strict penalties for serious doping. Within the Norwegian Sports Organization, we demand for anti-doping work in all national federation when it comes to pay, payment for fi finance gains. To ensure that the athletes we are, are involved with about our athletes commission, also in the audit of the WADA code. I am convinced that the protection of the legal rights 
over the athletes must be secure through the code. It has been important for our organization as the Olympic and the Paralympic Committee to ensure that the athletes are represented in both Olympic and Paralympic organization at the international level. To conclude, the background for this conference is serious for sports. There is a need to create trust in the system, and there is a need to create trust between the stakeholders. I am convinced that the road ahead will show an even stronger cooperation between the sports organization and the government authorities at the international level, also when it's come to match fixing. The Norwegian Olympic and Paralympic Committee, Confederation of Sport, will continue to be a pro progressive cool player. We do that because the question of fair play hits us in the core of our mind values. By cooperating, we have everything to win and nothing to lose. Thank you for your attention.